Good evening. We're about to start. Vamos a esperar unos minutos para que para ver si se conectan más alumnos, porque entiendo de que ya me mandaron algunos unos mensajes al grupo y parece que hay hay partes donde está lloviendo muy fuerte y está causando problemas en la conexión y hay otros que están pues enfermos o dice que tiene un black un blackout electronic blackout entonces tienen problemas con la conexión en este momento entonces vamos a esperar unos minutos para poder comenzar la clase para que se conecten todos we are going to wait just some minutes and we are going to start the class okay so thank you very much for coming for for being here thank you Lisette. thank you rosa maria um today we are going to start with the um, second week and we are going to to check some information about uh adjectives we are going to check information about countable nouns and uncountable nouns because everything is related okay if you remember we studied last week countable nouns and uncountable nouns what a noun is how we can use it all of it so we are going to put into practice all of that vamos a poner en práctica todo lo que estudiamos good evening Hilma. good evening maria cecilia thank you for coming good evening teacher good evening mercy thank you for connecting to the class for attending to the class good evening Noe. good evening how how was your how was your weekend did you do something did you have fun did you rest Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Nice Thank you for you. being here. Okay, nice okay. to meet you too again. Thank you. Okay, so uh, what did you do in your weekend? Did you rest? Did you have fun with your family? Did you practice your English? Did you, did you watch a movie in English? Did you go to the movie theater? What do you do on yeah, Saturday and Sunday? Mercy, how was your weekend, Mercy? Fine, teacher. I Hi. I work because I, I work Saturday and I rest in my house uh, uh, ups. And when we say domingo, I don't remember. Sunday. Uh, Sunday. Yes, a good, a good rest in my house. Okay, but you worked on Saturday. Yes, I have a, a passion. Yes. A patient? Uh -huh. Patient, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, very good. So it's good to work, but it's also good to rest a little bit, okay? So thank you for connecting, Mercy. Thank you for connecting, Noe. Let me see, Jaime. I know that there are, some of you have some uh, connection problems, but I think that we are going to begin, okay? Probably later they will be able to, to see the, the class, to watch it on YouTube. So we are going to, good evening. We are going to. Good evening, Because Saturday was my day of um, descanso. Mm -hmm. Your resting day? The rest. And watching a series on Netflix. And a fun day, I went to the beach with my family. Okay, yeah. so you had a lot of fun, right? Yes. And what 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 series are you watching? Or did you watch? <laughs> um Stranger Things. Stranger Things, yeah. I know that that's a really very popular series right now. So very yes. good, very good for you that you you're able to watch series and go to the beach. Enjoy enjoy that time because that's necessary. Okay, now we're going to begin with the um, with the second week, right? It's the second week. Okay, we are going to begin with section three, and we on um, Thursday we are going to have a review for the midterm exam. A midterm exam is like the exercises that you have been doing in the platform. So it's kind of similar, okay? But we are going to practice. We are going to review some concepts, vocabulary on Thursdays. So you can do it uh, on Friday, right? 
Remember that you have to, to work on the platform. If you have been working, it's okay. I don't know if you have uh, studied the section three already, some of you, or nobody has studied it yet. Have you, have you checked the section three? Yes? No? No. <laughs> no, okay, no problem. Oh my God, no. <laughs> okay, no, no problem. Not teacher. Not teacher. Okay, no, no, okay, very good, no problem. So we are going to, to see or review it right now. Um, just pay attention because uh, we have a lot of vocabulary and also we also have formulas because formulas is easier for you to practice or to create your own sentences. So I'm going to share my screen right now. Let me see here. I just need to find the correct button. Okay, so this is what we are going to study today. Actually, it's kind of easy, but we are going to just to review some basic concepts because if we have clear basic concepts, we will be able to, to understand better the, the, the structures, right? The grammar, the vocabulary, okay? So we are going to Begin right now, it says, uh, the objective for today is build your English language skills with this lesson on adjectives and nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to express your opinions about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to describe your house or apartment in English. And use evaluated places such as apartments are too small for pets or houses are too expensive or Houses cost too much money. Okay, so these are just uh, examples, statements for apartments, right? Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. So these are just some opinions, right, about apartments. I know that in our, our country is not very popular to live in an apartment, right? It's just some people live in apartments. But we don't have like big buildings like in big cities, right, where many people live in apartments. We usually or most of us live in houses, right? Not in an apartments. But these are just some um, expressions, right? About apartments. And we have also opinions about houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. And houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. So would you rather to live in a house or in an apartment? What, which is better, a house or in an, or an apartment? A, a house. A house. Why? Yeah. Why is because, better to live in a house? Um, because it's, um, uh, it's, it's more big. And, and a, a house, more, more rooms. Um, <laughs> it depends, teacher, because I think the house is good for a family, a grand family, for example. When I have a babies, mm -hmm. I have a dogs, for example, pets. Mm -hmm. But when I live only only one person or two two person i think is more uh, more the apart the apartment i don't know i think because there are many things to 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 do in the in the house <laughs> okay very good very good point of view mercy so jaime says that houses are better than living in an apartment because there is enough space there are enough rooms. And Mercy says that it depends. If you have family, if you have babies, if, if you have children, if you have pets, it's better to have 
big space, right? Enough space for, for pets, right? And if you live alone, if you don't have family, if you don't have pets, it's better to live in an apartment. So what do you think? It's better to live in an apartment only when you live alone or you can live with your family or only houses are for big families. What do you think? Who wants to participate? One more opinion. We have Hector, we have Christian, we have Brian, we have Rosaura, we have Jaime Reyes, we have Hilma, we have Maria Cecilia. We have a lot of people connected. So uh, who wants to share uh, one more opinion about houses or apartments? Which one is better? Only one. You sure? Yes, Noe. In my case, uh, in my opinion, uh, I think uh, in my house, I have more uh, space um, for the family enjoy uh, a meeting in the night and more uh, pre privacy. And for example, do you know more cigarettes mm -hmm. in my house, in the hotel, in apartment? Uh, sometimes uh, uh, there are people use a uh, cigarette. Yes, it is true. It is true. Actually, in houses, probably we have like more privacy, right? And also in apartments, we have a lot of rules like uh, pets don't, uh, uh, they are not allowed in, in some apartment complex or smoking, right? Smoking, as Noe was saying, sometimes it's not allowed for you to smoke inside of apartments. So we have more restrictions sometimes. And in your house, probably if you have, if you live in a big house or in a big neighborhood, probably you won't have that problem. So we have uh, different problems. It depends, as Mercy says, right? Mercy uh, has a, a, a one point of view there that is it depends on your situation. But living in an apartment probably can be a different experience than living in a house. Now we are going to continue. Now we are going to get more vocabulary for houses and also for neighborhood and to uh, describe the place we live in, okay? Now we are going to study a little bit of uh, grammar. Previously, as I mentioned before, we have studied what nouns are. Okay, nouns like cake, bus stop, etc. Proper name, proper names, right? So now we are going to study adjectives. Okay, nouns, adjectives. That what is an adjective? Adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns. For example, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast, all of them are adjectives, okay? So now we know a definition for about what an adjective is. Now, can somebody tell me uh, your own definition? Like, what is an adjective for you? Uh, for example, Lisette or Rosa Maria. What is an adjective? ¿Qué es un adjetivo para ustedes? What is an adjective? Somebody can tell me what an adjective is? A word to describe a noun. A word to describe a noun. Very good, very good. That is a very good definition. Something to describe, right, that we use. And we have some examples here. We have beauties, marvelous. Cute, alluring, foxy, enticing, gorgeous, charming, classy, well-formed, exquisite, statuesque, divine, magnificent. All of those are adjectives to describe the appearance of someone, okay? So we, if we want to describe someone, we can say uh, any of, of those uh, adjectives, okay? But we are going to use uh, different adjectives right now to describe houses, apartments, neighborhoods, etc., right? And we are going to study today this, um, this uh, let's say, 
like grammar structures because it's not a grammar itself, but they, these are like expressions, right? Evaluations and comparisons. Today we are going to evaluate a house, right? Vamos a evaluar. Para, ¿Qué palabras podemos utilizar para evaluar? And we have evaluation with adjectives. Evaluaciones con adjetivos. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments are too small for pets. So we are using adjectives to evaluate um, adjectives, okay? We use the word enough. What does it mean enough? ¿Qué significa enough? Suficiente. 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 Very good. So in that sentence, it says apartments aren't big enough for families. Que las casas, los apartamentos no son suficientemente grandes, ¿verdad? Apartments aren't big enough for families. And then we have two. Apartments are too small for pets. So two is like for, um, to describe something, but in a negative way, like it's very, it's too small, right? Like it's un exceso de algo. Eso significa el two. Too small is demasiado pequeño, ¿verdad? For example, if I say too big, Demasiado grande. Demasiado, grande. demasiado grande. So it's not it's not good for me. It's too big for me. It's too much space. Or if it is too small, it's too small for me. I don't. I have a lot of things. I have pets. I have family. I have my uncle, my grandma, grand my grandmother, and my grandfather. And it's too small. But it's too small. And we have also um, another. Another sentence, it says, apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Now, we use don't have, no tienen, don't have enough parking spaces. No tienen suficiente eh, espacios para parquear. Bro. And the other one is, houses cost too much money. Las casas cuestan mucho dinero, demasiado dinero, too much money. So that is the evaluation. So this is like opinions that we have about houses, apartments, so... That is related to it, okay? So uh, in the first examples and the ones on the left side, we have the verb to be. So we use the verb to be to express um, or evaluate, right? The house or express our opinion about something. We have aren't big enough, are too small. And in the other side, on the other side, uh, on the right side, we have uh, other verbs. We don't use the verb to be, but we use other verbs. For example, don't have, no tienen, ¿verdad? Tener, cost, costar, ¿verdad? Cuesta. Entonces usamos otros verbos, verb to be and other verbs. Now, these are these are the, the examples that we are going to use right now. These are the, the exercises. And also we are going to use adjectives. For example, comfortable. Do you know what comfortable is? What is comfortable? Comfortable. What is that? Comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Convenient. We have convenient. Dangerous. Dark. Yeah, dangerous is peligroso. Very good. Very good. We have dark. We have oscuro. Right? Yeah, dark is oscuro. Very good. Bright is the opposite, right? Bright is the opposite. Uh, claro. Yeah, with a lot of illumination. Yeah, exactly. Expensive. Expensive, right? We have expensive. Yes, uh, with a lot of money. You have to pay a lot of money, right? Expensive. Huge. We have huge. That is really big, right? It's immense. It's really big. And the opposite is small. Small is the opposite. Huge is really big and small is the opposite. Inconvenient, something that it can be a problem for you, something that can be problematic, right? Inconvenient. Modern, modern, something that is current, right? Moderno, right? Noisy. Now, exactly, noisy is a lot of noise, right? Yes, a lot of noise. Private. Okay. No sé cómo hacerlo rápido. Private is when it's like exclusive, right? When you don't have a lot of people. Yeah, privado, private. 
For example, um, you live in a private area, for example, right? In a private area. We have quiet. Quiet is the opposite of noisy, right? Noisy. The opposite. Yeah, <laughs> the opposite is the opposite. Legend. Yes, yeah, just like quiet, quiet, right? Safe. Safe is the opposite of dangerous, right? So it's the opposite. Safe is good, dangerous is bad, right? And small, that is the synonym of uh, tiny, right, or compact, and spacious, espacioso, right, spacious. So we have those um, adjectives for today. Do you have questions about those adjectives? Questions? No questions. No questions. Everything's clear. Okay. Now, they are adjectives. Exactly. They are adjectives. All of them are adjectives. So we are going to have a little exercise. Uh, we are going to use or writing today just to check how your writing is. I'm not going to evaluate you. I'm, I'm not going to grade you. Like I will give you a 10. I will give you an eight. No, it's just for you for you to check how is how your writing is para ver cómo están con la escritura y con cómo escuchan en inglés vamos a evaluar pero ustedes se van a evaluar ustedes mismos ustedes van a ver cómo están entonces we are, what we are going to do right now is a little exercise is a little bit long but it's not that long right i'm going to say an adjective and then I'm going to say three synonyms. And you have to write it in your notebook, in your computer. Ustedes lo van a escribir. Yo lo digo y ustedes lo escriben. Y ustedes después ven si lo escribieron bien, lo escribieron mal, y si tienen que practicar más. Okay? Because sometimes we make some mistakes. Listening and writing. So we are going to have a little, a little evaluation about that. Um, and these are adjectives. Remember, I will say adjectives. I will give you 10 adjectives and then you are going to write it. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Do, you have, do you have questions about the, the activity? No questions? Everything's clear? No questions. Okay. Perfect. Now, we are going to see uh, the responses later, okay? First, we are going just to write. Okay, the first adjective is comfortable. Comfortable. Okay, now I will give you the synonyms. The synonyms are cozy, cozy. Pleasant, pleasant, enjoyable, enjoyable. Very good, Maria, very good, Maria. Comfortable, comfortable, very good. Now, adjective number two, convenient, convenient. Now, synonyms, suitable, suitable, appropriate, appropriate, opportune, opportune. Convenient, very good, Cecilia, very good. Now, adjective, adjective number three, sorry, adjective number three. Dangerous, dangerous. Synonyms, menacing, menacing. Threatening, threatening. Treacherous, treacherous. Now, adjective four, dark, dark. 
synonyms. Unlighted. Unlighted. Unilluminated. Unilluminated. Poorly lit. Poorly lit. Now, number five, adjective number five. Right. Right. Synonyms. Brilliant. Brilliant. Illuminated. Illuminated. Shiny. Shiny. We almost finished. We almost finished. Okay. Just a couple more. Number six. Expensive. Expensive. Synonyms, high priced, high priced, costly, costly, pricey, pricey. Number seven, huge, huge. Synonyms, enormous, enormous, massive, massive, immense, immense. We almost finished, okay? I promise, I promise. We, are, we have only 10. Now we are in number seven, seven. Small, small. Synonyms, little, little, tiny, tiny, compact, compact. Number nine, we almost finished. Inconvenient, inconvenient. Synonyms, inappropriate, inappropriate, problematic, problematic, inopportune, inopportune. And the last one, the last one is modern, modern. Synonyms are contemporary, contemporary, current, current, recent, recent. And we finish. Okay, you can relax right now. I know it's difficult. I know it's difficult. <laughs> I know it's difficult because we are very far away, right? But I, you can hear me because of the microphone, but I know it's difficult. I know it's not the same as like being in a classroom, but we can practice the way we write and also the listening, right? The listening. So now we are going to check the, 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 the answers. It says here, uh, Maria Ponce, quiet, bright, dark, expensive, small, big, bigger, convenient, modern. Very good, very good. Now we are going to check all of them. And you let me know if you have all of them good or it's just a little bit, okay? Remember that we have adjectives and synonyms. So comfortable is like this, comfortable. Synonyms, cozy, pleasant, enjoyable, okay? How many did you have? All of them? Three, four, one? All of them, right? Like two, like two, okay, two is okay. Two is good, two is good. Now, convenient, that is convenient. Convenient, suitable, that is synonym, it's, it's similar with that, suitable, appropriate, opportune. That is convenient, conveniente, with that. Next one, 
dangerous, dangerous, menacing, threatening, and treacherous. Algo que es peligroso, es amenazante, es amenazador, ¿verdad? O traicionero, treacherous, dangerous. Next one, dark, unlighted, unilluminated, poorly lit. That is how, how you write it, right? Next one, bright, brilliant, illuminated, shiny. Next one, expensive, high priced, costly, pricey. And next one is huge, enormous, massive, immense. Next one is small, little, tiny, compact, inconvenient, synonyms are inappropriate, problematic, inopportune, and the last one is modern, right? Modern, contemporary, current, recent. So how many did you have? All of them? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> so most of them, like the half, so-so. Okay, that's good because we are learning, right? And we can, I, see, yeah, we can see that if it is uh, good or not, or if we know the, the word or if we don't know. How, how were your results, Jaime? They were good? If around... Um, 70 percent 70 that's good you have a very good listening there 70 percent very good that's good and what about you edgardo how was how were your results i think the same about 70 percent very good 70 percent that's good you have, you have a high level then you have a very good level of English because th those are complica complicated words. So those are uh, adjectives, right? To describe houses or uh, different environments. We have more, but we are going to leave it like that for the listening practice. And we are going to continue with the rest, right? For example, uh, noisy is another adjective, right? That is something loud, strident, rowdy. Also, we have private. If you have, if you live in a private area, if very personal, it's very exclusive, it's very individual, right? If you live in a quiet area, quiet, right? Quiet is silent, still, noiseless. If you live in a safe area, safe, secure, defended or guarded area, or if you live in a compact or small place, right? tiny miniatures and other other adjectives to do that okay to to describe our neighborhood so we are going to continue with the grammar part oh we have another one spacious roomy large commodious that is spacious big right something big so now here we uh, we are going to continue with uh, the formulas we have studied also evaluations with adjectives and with nouns we already know what nouns are and adjectives. So we have evaluations with adjectives using enough and to. And this is just to follow the order, right? It says there subject plus verb to be plus adjective plus enough plus complement. So we are using the verb to be over there to express our ideas, right? It says their apartments aren't big enough for families. Now, aren't is in negative, right? is negative uh, verb to be. So it's a negative way. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Enough is sufficient, right? That's the meaning of enough. No son suficientemente grandes, verdad? Apartments aren't spacious enough for families. So that is to uh, share uh, our opinion about evaluation of houses or apartments. It says there the making of a judgment about the amount, number, or value of something, assessment. That is an evaluation, and we can use the verb to be a negative to, evalu to evaluate something negatively or positively. Entonces, ahí usamos el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Don't get confused. This is just with the verb to be and using the word enough. 
So this is the formula. This is the formula. And we have uh, the examples, sure, right? Apartments aren't big enough for families. Now, evaluations and comparisons, right? Uh, also, we can use the verb to be with the word to. We already know that to is like an excess, right? And enough is sufficient. To is a word that we use to describe, is an adverb to describe something that is in addition, furthermore, or more over. Es como demasiado. Eso es lo que decíamos antes, ¿verdad? Apartments are too small for families. Too small is like I need more space. They are not enough for me. They are too small. So we use the verb to be to describe that, to describe the apartment. And also we have uh, evaluations with adjectives. Let's see here. It says subject plus verb plus enough plus noun plus complement. So with the verb to be, we use uh, adjectives, right? Con el verbo to be usamos adjetivos. Y aquí estamos usando otros verbos. And this is the structure for the verbs. Esta es la, la fórmula para los verbos. Subject plus verb plus enough plus noun plus complement. Ahí tenemos nombres. Nombres contables y nombres incontables, ¿verdad? Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Los apartamentos no tienen suficientes espacios de parqueo, ¿verdad? Enough parking spaces. So we can use uh, don't in a negative statement if we use other verbs than the verb to be. We don't have enough space for pets. So what, what is saying that? Uh, yes, Edgardo. Teacher, uh, why don't we use, uh, for example, in this statement, apartment doesn't have. Because apartments is plural. Okay. So apartments are they, right? They don't. Okay. So they doesn't, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. We remember okay. that yes, yes, with yes. the we have to follow the, the pronouns, right? Yes, yes, yes. So I understand. If it is just one, it doesn't. If it is just one, it's that apartment doesn't. The apartment doesn't have enough. That's okay. So okay. very good. Very good question. So this is just uh, with, with don't, we use the auxiliary, right? As we were saying before. With don't, we use the auxiliary with other verbs that it, when we don't use the verb to be. So we have to be careful with that. It is the same structure. And we have also uh, another example here. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. So it's always the subject plus the verb. This is the verb in a negative way, plus enough, plus noun. This is just the order how to write a sentence. And also we can use too much, right? Too much is for countable or uncountable nouns. Uncountable. Uncountable, uncountable. very good. Over there we have the example. It, it says houses cost too much money. So too much is for uncountable we can count bills we can count pennies cents but money in general we cannot count and if it is accountable now we use too many right too many rooms too many houses and if we use noise it's too much noise right in my neighborhood there is too much noise it's very noisy okay so we can say that and we have more examples here i just can't sleep at night the building isn't as quiet as our, our old apartment. I don't like living in an apartment. We don't have enough privacy. And there is too much noise. So too much is for uncountable and too many is for countable. So that's what we are studying right now. Let me see here. We have, yes, we have enough uh, time right now. Now it says evaluate your house or apartment using formulas, nouns, and adjectives. Make as many examples as you can to practice as much as possible. And we have an example. So there are an example there. I like my house because it is located in a private area, but there aren't enough buses. 
I can turn near my house. I have to walk long distances and there is not enough illumination at night. So it's just talking about the neighborhood, right? That is located in a private, private area that there aren't enough buses. So I, I, I have to walk because the bus stop is really far away from my house and that I have to walk long distances and there is not enough illumination. There is not enough illumination there. So probably it's too quiet at night or um, too dark probably because there is not enough illumination. So we can express ourselves in that way, right? So I want you to create one sentence using this one or two sentences using these formulas, okay? Using uh, big enough or too small or too 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 much too much noise or I don't have enough parking spaces. Uh, tell me something about your house or your neighborhood. I don't know if you want to to practice it first orally or I don't know if you rather to write it down. What is better for you right now? To write it down or to speak about it? What is the best option? I speak because uh, it's a make exercise to the pronunciation teacher. Mm -hmm pronunciation okay very good so we are going to have uh one volunteer and probably later we are going to write it down so i want volunteer to talk to me about your house can you tell me how your house is if it is if you have enough space for for your family if you live in a private area if you live in if it is if your neighborhood is too noisy or too dark or it's too dangerous to go there? I don't know, right? So let me know, how is your neighborhood, your house? One volunteer, please. Volunteers, we have a lot of people here. Maria, Hilma, Rodolfo, Hector, Aiza, Brian, Christian, Rosa. Okay, Rosa. You want I to like my, okay. Mm -hmm. go ahead. I like my house because it is enough big for my family. Mm -hmm. You like your house because your house because it's big enough for your family. Big enough. Big enough. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. So why is it big enough? Who do you live with? In my house, I have a four a press and a, a big. A, Sala, no sé, se me How do you say sala? Say sala. Who sala. knows? <laughs> How do you say sala in English? Living room. Living room. Living room. Living room. Living room. Exactly, okay. living room. So you have a okay. big living room? Do you have I, a I have a, I have yes. I have a, a parking for my a, a car only that okay very good so she has uh, enough space for her family is big enough her house is big enough probably she lives with her grandma her children uh her sister uh her brother i didn't know right she didn't uh, tell me a lot about her family but she says that she lives happily in her house because she has enough space there now, another volunteer, please. Just tell me something related to your house, like we have seen before. Me, wow. teacher. Okay, Rosaura, go ahead. <laughs> okay, but um, my house don't have enough bedroom, and I have a big family. This is a big problem, <laughs> because I have three sons and a, a daughter. We, we are six in my family, and in my house only are three bedrooms. Then uh, we have to share. This you have is to a, share this bedroom. Is a yes, yes. Okay. Do you do you share your bedroom? Excuse me, repeat. Do you share your bedroom with another yes. person? <laughs> yes, okay. with my husband. 
husband. And my daughter. And your daughter. <laughs> Two. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Daughter. Repeat, please. How yes. do you say, hija? Daughter. Daughter. Daughter, yeah. Daughter. daughter. Okay. Yeah, very okay. good. Thank very you. good. So your house is too small for your family. It's too small. Yes. Yes. Okay. But I like because it's near. Um, it's, it's beautiful to me. I need money for um, expandirla. I don't know how they say expandirla. To make it bigger? To make the build, yes. Okay. Almost after. <laughs> okay, so all your family will be living there, but it will be bigger, more yes. space. Yes, yes. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. Thank okay. you for your participation, Rosa. Thank and you. And do we, do we need another? Okay, I need another volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Who said me? Tatiana. Tatiana. Okay, Tatiana, yes. go ahead. Uh, in my opinion, my house has enough space for my family because I have a small family. I live with my husband and my two daughters and my cat. <laughs> Just that. Okay, so you live with your husband, your daughter, and your cat. Yes, I have two daughters. Two daughters. Okay. Yes. Do you have enough space for your family in your house? Yes, I think yes. Okay, very good. So uh, is your, do you have enough privacy in your house? Is it private? Mm, yes, because in my neighborhood is very quietly. Mm -hmm, it's quiet, yeah. Yeah. So you don't listen to your other neighbors singing or washing the dishes? No, never. Never. Okay, never. that's good. Yes, I, I, I'm, I am able to listen to your to my neighbors <laughs> yes right now it's because uh it's it's quiet because it's it's night right it's at night but yeah when, and that's really good yeah but it during the days it's cumbia reggaeton <laughs> i listen to everything okay? but that's good it's good you have you live in a private area yeah okay thank you for your uh participation and are we going to have another one if somebody else wants to participate uh, me teacher okay Edgardo, go ahead <laughs> okay I, I like my house because it is um it is small enough for my family okay mm -hmm. uh, there's something interesting uh, i can watch the tv and any place in you uh, that you can stay in the house mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you understand okay, <laughs> but you. Okay, uh, this is very good for me because I, while I doing any activity, I can watch the TV, any place in, in, in where I am. In your house. In my house. Yeah, the, the, the only problem is that, that my area is very noisy. This is the only thing I don't like. <laughs> and what kind of noises do you hear, like buses or uh, uh, cars? Music, or music, music loud. Okay. Loud uh, music, it's loud. Loud music, yes. Uh, okay. All day. <laughs> the whole day, right now? Are you listening okay. to music right now from your um, neighbors? Ju uh, already uh, an hour, they stopped the music. An hour ago, they stopped hearing, listening to music. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good because mm -hmm. an hour ago, we started like the, the, the English mm -hmm. class, yes, right? Yes, yes. And you mentioned <laughs> that your house is uh, small enough for your family. Like, it's, it's not that, it's not too small. It's, it's, it's good, right, for your family. It's good, yes, yes. It's, okay. It's, it's, it's enough for me. And you mentioned that you watch your TV. Are you watching TV right now while, while receiving the no, class? No, no, no. All no, right. right now. No. Okay. <laughs> Not right now. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you for your participation. And um, I just need someone else. Just one more person. One more. The last one. Yeah. Maria. Yes. Do you want to participate, Maria? Yes. Okay, right now you're not working, right? You're resting in your house. No. Okay, very good, very good. So tell me, how is your neighborhood? Do you like your house? Is it big? Is it small? Mm, okay. I, li I like my house because it's located very far down. 
There is noisy. In my house is small. I love my house. You love your house. It's located like very, very far away from the city. Yes. Where do you live? Eh, por Cojutepeque. Okay, near Cojutepeque, okay. But you don't live near, uh, near uh, uh, like the countryside or the beach or it's just like a small town in Cojutepeque. Yeah, country. In the countryside. Uh -huh. Okay, you are surrounded by trees and birds. Rodeada de árboles. Sí, sí. Yes, yes. Okay, sí. very good. So, but you like your house because it's quiet. Sí. No lo entiendo. Le gusta Tran su tranquilo. casa porque ya está quiet, tranquilo. Yes. Sí, es very tranquilo. Ahí. It's very quiet. Okay, very good. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Now we're going to check if you have understood the. Um, let me start here. Let me check here. We are going to check right now uh, using Padlet. Now we have some some examples here, for example, with the Padlet. I want you to tell me if you like your house, if your house is is beautiful, if your if it is dangerous, if it is I don't know. Now I'm going to share this link in a, in the chat. You can click in the link and you will see this web page if it is possible for you try to do it okay let me see here just let me share the link okay if you click on the link that you receive in your chat you will be able to see this screen okay i will share my screen again and you will see this you will see this okay you will see here also the plus sign and you can write here your sentence for example my house is big enough for my pets for my pets okay Mi casa es suficientemente grande para mis mascotas. And you click on publicar, publicar. And I will be able to read it here, okay? So I want you to use these formulas, okay? Remember the formulas? My, my, my house isn't big enough or my house isn't spacious enough for my family or my house is big enough, right? If it is... Uh, big enough for you or for example my house is too small my house my neighborhood is too noisy etc okay so we are i want you to write it and i will see it here it says i like my house because it's private and very quiet and i have a small garden very good so you have a small garden thank you you can write your name also because in that way I will be able to see who is writing. And if you cannot, if you don't, if you don't want to share it here, you can share it in the chat, right? Like, like Maria Cecilia, she was writing in the chat while we were practicing the, the adjectives. So you can write it here if you don't want to share it there. It says, my house is big enough for my family. Very good. Very good. My house is big enough. I like my house because it's small enough for my family. I can watch the TV from any place of my house. Okay, now we already knew who this person is, right? It's Edgardo, right? So very good. Thank you, Edgardo. I like my house because at night there is not much noise and it's quiet. I can rest well and it is private. My house is small, but the land is big. Oh, okay, so we have a different different acacias that the house is small, but there is a, a big land area around it, probably. 
My house is very comfort. Comfort or comfortable, okay? Comfort is the noun. Comfortable is the adjective, okay? We are living fourth and one cow. Okay, we live here for four people, right? Four people and one cat. My house is located, it is located, no, it is located in an area away from the noise of cars. The neighborhood is very quiet. My house is small, but I like it because I can have my dog. Oh, that's good because you have company, right? Very good. My house, my house don't, my house don't or my house doesn't. We have to be careful, right? My house doesn't. My house doesn't have enough bedroom bedrooms. Yes, that's good. Enough bedrooms, but I like it because it's near near the city, right? Near of the city, no, near of cerca de da, eso es español, near of. So it's near the city. It's very good. I, my house is small, but I like it. Oh, my house is medium. When we say medium, we have to say medium size, okay? You know what a medium is? A medium is a person who talks to dead people, right? They see dead people like that movie, right? That So that's a medium. So you have to say medium size. My house is medium size and I have five dogs, but the place is big. Okay, five dogs. Those are a lot of dogs. Tatiana Alarcón, it says, my house is really beautiful and I like and I like it, right? I like it because it has enough space. Very good. I live with my small family, my husband, my two daughters, and my cat. It has small garden, a living room, two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Also, my neighborhood is great because it's really quiet. It's really it's really quiet right quiet quietly no quiet quietly is the adverb okay i like my house because it's very big and it has plenty plenty floor what does it mean plenty floor i i didn't get the idea plenty plenty floor what is that the double planta ah it, it has two some some people say two stories, but I don't know if we have two story house here. But it has a second floor, a second floor, segundo piso, segunda planta, second floor, second second floor. Very good. I like my house because it's safe and quiet. That's good. And here in El Salvador, safety to live in a safe area or to live in a, a place that is safe enough is really important, right? It's really important to go outside to receive this. I like my house because it is enough for my family. That's okay. That's really good. Very good. I like my house because it's very big and it has oh, I already, I already read this. I like my house because it's quiet and the stop bus is close to me. It's close to me now. It's close to my house because it's close to me. It's always close to you. Right? It's close to my house. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much for your participation. My neighborhood is quiet and my, my house is small. We have dairy, dairy store, dairy store. And that's why we don't have enough space. My house doesn't, does not has, doesn't have, does, does not has, no, doesn't have, okay? Doesn't have second floor, no, floor is arena. Floor, F-L-O-O-R. I like my house because it has a backyard. Backyard, very good. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Now I will uh, give you a, a homework, okay? We are going to stop the class right now. I know that you're tired. I know that you want to go to sleep to rest a little bit, but tomorrow we have a class again. So for tomorrow, I want you to practice these adjectives and these expressions. And I want you, I want you to compare your house with somebody else's house okay for example compare your house with your neighbor neighbor's house or a house that you that probably you think is beautiful or is similar to your house i want you to compare it and tomorrow at class you will tell me if it is similar or what is the difference between your house and the other person's house right can be your neighbor your friend 
etc. So we are going to compare. Vamos a comparar las casas. Mañana esa sería la tarea. Vamos a comparar nuestra casa con la casa de alguien más. No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta en este momento o alguna duda acerca de lo que estudiamos hoy. Questions? Do you have any question? No questions? Okay. Remember that on Thursday uh, we are going to review for the midterm test. So I will ask you a lot of questions. I will check these adjectives, this expression, nouns, adjectives, everything, okay? I will ask you a lot of things. So I want you to be present and also to participate, okay? So that's why we are going to work on Thursday. So be prepared, prepare. And I wish you a very good night. Rest, take care, and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you for coming. Thank you for your effort. I see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.